Alan Jackson is an American country music singer-songwriter. He is known for performing a style widely regarded as neo-traditional country, as well as writing many of his own songs. Born October 17, 1958, age 65 years, Noonan, Georgia, United States. Spouse, Denise Jackson, M. 1979. Height, 1.93 meters. Children, Maddie Denise Jackson, Danny Grace Jackson, Alexander Jane Jackson. Parents, Eugene Jackson, Ruth Music. Alan Jackson, net worth $150 million. Early life. Jackson was born to Joseph Eugene Daddy Jean Jackson, 1927-2000, and Ruth Music Mama Ruth Jackson, 1930-2017, in Noonan, Georgia, and has four older sisters. He and his immediate family lived in a small home built around his grandfather's old tool shed. The family is primarily of English descent. His mother lived in the home until her death on January 7, 2017. He began writing music in 1983. Growing up, Jackson listened primarily to gospel music, until a friend introduced him to Gene Watson, John Anderson, and Hank Williams Jr. Jackson attended the local Elm Street Elementary and Noonan High School, and joined the band Dixie Steel after graduation. Jackson worked as a construction worker and forklift operator while playing in small clubs across Georgia. When he was 27, Jackson and his wife of six years, Denise, moved from Noonan to Nashville, Tennessee, where he hoped to pursue music full-time. In 1987, Jackson cut a pre-debut demo album titled New Traditional at Doc's Place in Hendersonville, Tennessee, but it is extremely rare and was released only in Japan. Career In Tennessee, Jackson got his first job in the Nashville Network's mailroom. His wife Denise was a flight attendant. While working, she came in contact with Glenn Campbell and requested advice for her husband. Campbell handed her the business card of his manager and told her to call, which helped jumpstart his career. Jackson eventually signed with Arista, and in 1989, he became the first artist signed to the newly formed Arista Nashville branch of Arista Records. Arista released Jackson's debut single, Blue-Blooded Woman, in late 1989. Although the song failed to reach top 40 on Hot Country Songs, he reached number 3 by early 1990 with Here in the Real World. This song served as the title track to his debut studio album, Here in the Real World, which also included two more top five hits, Wanted and Chasin That Neon Rainbow, and his first number one, I'd Love You All Over Again. Don't Rock the Jukebox was the title of Jackson's second album. Released in 1991, it included four number one singles, the title track, Someday, Dallas and Love's Got a Hold on You, and the number three Midnight in Montgomery. Jackson also co-wrote several songs on Randy Travis' 1991 album High Lonesome. A Lot About Livin' and A Little Bout Love, his third album, accounted for the number one hits She's Got the Rhythm and I Got the Blues, which Randy Travis co-wrote, and Chattahoochee, plus the top five hits Tonight I Climbed the Wall, Mercury Blues, and Who Says, You Can't Have It All. Chattahoochee also won him the 1994 Country Music Association, CMA, Awards for Single and Song of the Year. In 1994, Jackson left his management company, 1010 Management, which had overseen his career up to that point, and switched to Gary Overton. His fourth album was titled Who I Am, and it contained four number one hits, a cover of the Eddie Cochran rockabilly standard Summertime Blues, followed by Livin' on Love, Gone Country, and I Don't Even Know Your Name. An additional track from the album, a cover of Rodney Crowell's Song for the Life, made number six. In late 1994, Clay Walker reached number one with If I Could Make a Living, which Jackson co-wrote. Jackson also appeared in the 1996 When Harry Kept Dolores episode of Home Improvement, performing Mercury Blues. Personal Life Jackson married his high school sweetheart, Denise Jackson, on December 15, 1979. They have three daughters, Maddie Denise Selectman, born June 19, 1990, Alexander Jane Ollie, born August 23, 1993, and Danny Grace, born August 28, 1997. The couple became grandparents in December 2022 when their daughter Ollie and her husband Sam Bradshaw welcomed their first child, a son. Although the couple separated for several months in 1998 due to the strains of Jackson's career as well as his infidelity, they have since reconciled. 
Denise Jackson wrote a book that topped the New York Times bestseller list about her life with Jackson, their relationship, their separation over his infidelity and recommitment to each other, and her commitment to Christianity. The book, It's All About Him, Finding the Love of My Life, was published in 2007. In May 2008, she released a gift book titled The Road Home. Jackson's nephew, Adam Wright, is also a country music singer-songwriter. Adam and his wife, Shannon, performed together as a duo called The Wrights. The Wrights co-wrote two songs and sang harmony vocals on Jackson's What I Do album. Jackson is a cousin of former Major League Baseball player Brandon Moss. In June 2009, Jackson listed his 135-acre, 0.55-square-kilometers, estate just outside Franklin, Tennessee, for sale, asking $38 million. The property sold in late May 2010 for $28 million, one of the highest prices ever for a home sale in the Nashville area. In 2010, the singer then moved into a home in the same Nashville suburb. The singer and his wife paid $3.675 million for the estate in June 2010, but less than a year later they listed the home for $3.995 million. Jackson maintained a close friendship with fellow country singer George Jones. Jones has been mentioned in songs such as Don't Rock the Jukebox, Jones also appeared in the video which accompanied it, and Murder on Music Row. The song Just Playin' Possum is dedicated to Jones and talks of how Alan only wants to lie low and play possum, with possum referring to George Jones. Jones can also be seen in the video For Good Time. In 2008, Jones was a surprise guest at Jackson's CMT Giants ceremony, where he thanked Jackson for his friendship. He's also close friends with George Strait, who sang Murder on Music Row with him. Besides his associations with big stars, Jackson maintains his connections to his roots and old friends. At George Jones' funeral service, on May 2, 2013, Jackson performed one of Jones' classics, He Stopped Loving Her Today, at the close of the service at the Grand Ole Opry in Nashville. An avid classic car collector, Jackson's collection includes an Amphicar, a 1968 Shelby GT500 KR convertible and a 1970 Chevelle SS396, among others. In a 2021 appearance on the Today Show, Jackson announced he had Charcot, Marie, tooth disease, CMT, stating, it's been affecting me for years. And it's getting more and more obvious. And I know I'm stumbling around on stage. And now I'm having a little trouble balancing, even in front of the microphone, and so I just feel very uncomfortable, 